Boeing Starline capsule has left the ISS. It's set to return to Earth tonight at 9 o'clock. It's en route to New Mexico right now. With no astronauts on board, Fox 10's Nicole Christine shares the expectations for tonight's landing. Well, the hope is that this landing goes a lot smoother than the test flight, which left Commander Barry Butch Wilmore and co-pilot Sunita Williams up in space. And that analysis, once the landing takes place, is able to pinpoint what went wrong with the capsule. Two, one, ignition, and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V. It's going to be great to get it back in one piece because then we can diagnose it and figure out exactly what was going wrong. After a problematic mission, Boeing's Starliner capsule is set to land back on Earth tonight. ASU's Jim Rice says the capsule will be gently lowered to the surface using heat shields and parachutes. It'll be really warm when it lands. Um, recovery crews will go out there. May wait a while because these things give off some of these real noxious gases, these fumes that can be um, really toxic. The two astronauts staying behind in space still had access to the capsule before it was sealed, and one actually reported hearing an odd sound in the capsule the other day. But Rice says there's no concern. I says crew copies ready for undocked monitoring. And the space station has a real complex sound system. You have different spacecraft dock or connected to it and um, it, it was kind of a weird sound but um, NASA put out an official statement that it was just no just simply feedback and nothing of any concern. Separation confirmed. As for any space enthusiast hoping to catch a glimpse of the landing, Rice said it's not a guaranteed sighting in Arizona. I'm going to go out and look for it <laughs> but I haven't, I haven't seen any uh, trajectory maps of where to, exactly where to look. I mean obviously we look to the east since we're west of New Mexico. But um, I don't know how high it will be above the horizon to be able to see it, but uh, it, it might be visible. The flight control room will conclude and Starliner is now on a path back to Earth. Wilmore and Williams are set to return on a SpaceX vessel in February. Now NASA is live streaming the landing tonight. You can find that link over on our website, fox10phoenix.com. Reporting in Tempe, Nicole Christine, Fox 10 News.